Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're gonna to make a delicious pork belly recipe. You know I love pork belly. Look at this cut of pork belly. I know it looks a little bit roughed up because we took the skin off. First thing that we're going to do is put on some barbecue rub. This recipe just screams bombastic barbecue rub. So that's what we're going to put on. If you don't have this available, use some Asian style barbecue rub. Now that this beautiful cut is all seasoned up, we're going to put it on a Napoleon Rogue. I preheated the grill, but we're only going to use an indirect side. So we'll put on one burner, two high on one side, and put a pork belly on on the other side. Now we'll close the lid and let the barbecue come up to a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius. What is that? This is the pork skin and we started preparing this yesterday. So I took the pork skin off the pork belly and then cooked it for four hours until it was completely soft. You know when it, you start cooking and start curling up, you want to lose that and when it goes flat again, then it's done. We'll put it in a drying oven. You can also put it in your oven, but it kind of smells of the house. So I put it in drying oven in our garage and dried it for 12 hours at 50 degrees Celsius. And there we go. This is the end result. Dry, hard pork belly skin. Got to take it off the rack though. Come on. There you go. This is for making chicharron. Uh, apparently this is the best way to do it. I have never done this before. Um, but we're going to put this in oil and fry it. And that's supposed to be exploding, turning into the best chicharron you ever had. Now I'm going to use a deep pan because I've never done this before and I want to make sure we don't get any accidents. We're going to put in some sunflower oil. And in a pan this size, two liters of oil should do the trick. We'll put this pan on our side burner. Turn on the gas. Wait for five seconds and then light it up. Yep. The oil is done. Let's start frying this thing. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, tell me what you're going to do. I, I, I can tell you how I feel. I'm going to stick this in the oil, but the, the way I feel about it is like, I don't know what's going to happen. I just saw this. I saw people do it before, but I've never done it, so. Do it. Do it? Okay. It's, it's really weird. This is not what I expected. This is not the way I imagined this to go down. I was expecting it to go like a kupuk, become bigger. We gotta try another, another one. Do you hear that? It's still working, it's still going. Just you're, you're the chicharron whisperer. You're the chicharron whisperer. We'll put a little bit of barbecue rub on there. Should we try it first, eat it? Well, oh, there we go, huh? That does sound good. We'll do it together. It's perfect. Oh, I, I, I expected the look to be much different, but it's, it's like when I put it in, I expected to go up this way, but actually what I did was go down and I didn't see it grow. And basically it grew in itself. So it didn't become bigger. It didn't expand as I expected it to, but I got to flip this thing around. That's what I need to do. Let's try again. So I'm just trying with the outside of the skin down. See, and now I want to, shape it i wanna it's exploding yeah this is more like a, what i expected it to go down now i'm happy this is what this is what should happen look at that thing look at how it grew what a beauty chicharron wow well, tell me it looks better you kind of want to stretch them out and make sure you keep them under the oil let them grow, give them the opportunity to grow, but really put some force into stretching them out and making them as big as they can be. Look at the difference on these two things. One bubbled up completely and the other one, it not so much. I'm thinking this one had more pork fat. I'm thinking this one had more pork fat on it. And so I wanna scrape off the pork fat before we put in the skin. So I'm just gonna take my knife over that cold pork skin I'm gonna scrape some of that fat off so we have the minimum amount of pork fat on our pork skin. Now let's try again, see if that works. That did the trick. 
That worked really well. So scraping off the fat is a big thing. Look at that, looks way better, right? Now we want to flavor up the pork chips. I'm putting on a little bit of extra barbecue rub. I want a base layer of salt, pepper and garlic. And then I want to put on my barbecue rub because chips needs to be salty. Time to make the sauce. First thing that we need, a pan. You don't want one of these big pans. You just want a small pan for your sauce because most of the time you don't, you're not going to make like a whole pot of sauce, 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 sauce. Again with that word sauce do you realize i bought this strain of garlic i think two weeks ago we already used one two three four five bulbs of garlic averaging around 15 cloves per bulb we're only going to need a little bit of garlic so i'm just gonna press out a little bit look i had this pork fat left in the fridge and it's from another cook that we did so i'll put a few chunks of that in and then we'll put our pan on our little stove. Our garlic is now translucent and what we want to do is start adding the rest of the ingredients. We'll start off with a little bit of homemade chili sauce. <laughs> yeah, you know it. <laughs> it's going to happen. My favorite ingredient. Uh, let me get it right. Ketchup manis. Ketchup manis. Sweet soy sauce. It's going to take a while, but we're, we're going to need around four tablespoons of this. And then we're going to add fish sauce. We need a tablespoon of this. It's going to provide us with saltiness. A tablespoon of rice wine vinegar for that little bit of acidity. Now I'll put it back on the stove. This is going to be so tasty. This is my favorite thing. What I'm looking for is the syrupy bubble. Whoa, now I smell it. <laughs> the vinegar and garlic just hit my nose. Man, it punched right through that little cold that I got. I'll put this in a small jar so we can use it later on. I just want to quickly check on my pork belly roast, see if it's done. I'm just going to stick in my thermometer, see if it has resistance. See, the tension is out of the pork. That's a good thing. I'm just checking on the temperature and uh, I'm, I see that one side cooked faster than the other side. One is 92 degrees, the other one is 85 degrees. So we're just going to turn it around point the cold side towards the fire. Now we're just going to let it sit in the barbecue for a while longer for the whole thing to reach 92 degrees Celsius. And in the meantime, we're going to finish off the rest of our ingredients. I put my little pan on the side burner. I want to use a little bit more of that rendered pork fat. It's going to provide us with so much flavor. These are fresh fries from the supermarket and I cut them up into something almost unrecognizable. It's like an exclusive version of french fries, pomme carré. I just want to fry these up so they are like an extra crunch on your plate. It's just there to make your dish look good. The meat is going to be the star. These are nice and golden brown. We're going to put them on a piece of paper towel and just sprinkle on a little bit of salt. These are pre-cooked soybeans and we're just going to grill them shortly. We'll add a little bit of salt and pepper and they are done. And all we have to do now is finish off these little mushrooms. I'm also going to add a little bit more pork fat for the mushrooms to soak up. Done, 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 done. Let's check and see if the meat's ready. Oh, it looks good. See how easy I can poke in there. This is done. I know it's done. Look at the how. Boop, boop. It just falls in. It almost falls through. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely time to take it off. Maybe a little bit of tin foil. Time to take a look at our pork belly. Oy, look at that. <laughs> That's a good sign. Well, in the end, it took two hours to roast this pork belly, but look at how good this looks. We got a little bit of crispiness on the outside. Now there's one thing left to do. That's right, the taste test. That is why I love pork belly so much. So juicy. Now, let me get a piece. Look at that. Look at that crust. Look at the outside. We got a beautiful crust. We got a little bit of the red, like, smoke color. 
And then we get the juicy inside. Of course I want a bigger cut than that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, really tasty. Because of the pork belly is so fat, it just stays juicy. And then because you cook it to a temperature of 92 degrees Celsius, it becomes all tender. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. I just want to slice down that pork belly until it becomes almost like a shawarma size meat. What about me? <laughs> it's always me, me, me with you. What do you want? There you go, bro. You've earned it. Crunchy, tasty. Now let's plate this all up. We'll start off with our chicharron, our fried pork skin. Then we'll fill it up with our pork belly. Some of these grilled soybeans, some crispy carré fries, some of those fried mini mushrooms. And then finally, one of our most important ingredients, our sauce. Now let's bite into this. Woohoo! This is kind of cool, right? Mm. This is just crazy. How good this is. First of all, if you're gonna eat this with a group, a group of people, it's gonna make so much noise. But then, this whole bowl thing, with all these flavors, that's just fantastic. You, know, you heard the crunch. It's there with the, with the boldness of the barbecue rub. And you get like these dry hints of barbecue rub on your lips. But that sweetness of the sauce and, and then the, the, the roasted pork, fantastic. This is so good. Well, that was some tasty pork. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe video. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And a big thank you to our Patreons and our YouTube members, as usual. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk and keep on grilling.